I want to talk about one of the easiest ways to get more streams on Spotify. Hey, it's Sean here and Hyped It. Look, we all want more streams on Spotify because more streams helps the popularity of our music on Spotify. So it means we have an easier chance to be picked up by the Spotify algorithm. And obviously more streams also means that we're getting more royalty payoffs. So more streams is generally better on Spotify. So in this video, I want to talk about one of the easiest ways to get more streams on Spotify, no matter if or how you promote your music. To show you this, I'm logged into Spotify and I'm looking at the artist profile for Willem. Willem, his real name is Bob, is an artist who recently joined the Hyped community and he makes electronic ambient music. His sound kind of has an amazing energy to it. So if you like ambient music, I recommend you check it out. But that's just me being excited about his music. What I want to talk about here is a major difference that I noticed between the way Willem is putting out his music on Spotify and one of his sound alike artists that he identified to promote his music is putting out music. And this one difference has a major impact on the number of streams both of these artists can generate. And even though they're very different sizes, of course, Willem is just starting out and the sound alike artist is relatively big. What I want to point out really applies to any music artist at any stage of their music career. And here's what I'm talking about. If you look at Willem's music, you notice that all of his songs are relatively long, right? We're dealing with over six minutes here to over 11 minutes. And these are epic pieces. They are ambient soundscapes. There is, you know, a lot of movement in them, some amazing energy. So it seems easy for these compositions to become quite long. But when me and my team asked Willem to share some of the sound alike artists, he responded with Boards of Canada. And if you look at Boards of Canada, they make similar music you'll notice that their songs are really, really short. You have pieces here that just are about a minute 15, minute 31, minute 42, just over two minutes here, five minutes in outlier. And so it looks like on average, their compositions are about two minutes long. Now you might be thinking, John, you know, I see the difference in timing, but isn't it just all about the quality of the music and how well these artists promote themselves? And I'd say, yes, of course the quality matters, of course the promotion matters, but the duration of the songs will have a significant impact on the number of streams, how easy it is to bring the popularity score up, and therefore how they can crack the algorithmic playlists. And this seems especially true with ambient music fans, where they just turn on one artist and then let the sounds of one song just flow into the other. So let's say you have a music fan who's gonna spend about 30 minutes with ambient music. If that fan's gonna come over to Willem and play Willem music, that's gonna give Willem about four streams if you add up the time of all these tracks, right? Which is a little over 30 minutes. But on the other hand, if the fan was to stream Boards of Canada for the exact same 30 minutes, and we're looking at about an average time per song of two minutes, that would be 15 streams. So that means from the same listener, Boards of Canada will be able to generate about four times the number of streams compared to Willem. And that's the key takeaway I wanted to point out in this video here. Spotify favors shorter songs. Look, if you take it to the extreme, the song just has to be over 30 seconds because that's how long a song has to be played for Spotify to register a stream for that song. And I know this is also a little bit of a shift of where music promotion was in the past, because in the days and age of radio promotion, you wanted songs to be longer rather than short, because if you got played on the air, a longer song, man, there was a bigger chance that more listeners would catch that song. But in the age of streaming, short songs is where it's at. And I've taken this into account for my music quite a bit, whereas in the past, I would have started with club versions of my song, five minutes, six minutes, now I start with short versions of my songs, specifically tailored to streaming. I'd like to keep those just somewhere between two minutes and 2.30. So when you're in the studio the next time, you're editing your song and you're already thinking ahead, how am I gonna get this song promoted? How am I gonna get the most streams for the song? Then maybe you remember this, keeping the song shorter makes it easier to get more streams for the song, which makes it easier to get the popularity score up, which makes it easier to get on algorithmic playlists. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell icon below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube on how to grow your streams, your listeners, and your fans on Spotify. Oh, and also stay tuned for this.
Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Growth Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.